Charlotte-based musicians Gigi Dover and Eric Lovell are husband and wife team behind the band Gigi Dover and the Big Love. The group has just released a new album and recently stopped by our studios to talk about it and some of the many other projects they've got coming up. Gigi Dover, Eric Lovell, welcome back to North Carolina Now. Thank you. Glad to Thank be you, here. Mitch. Thanks for having us. Now, of course, the two of you represent the group Gigi Dover and the Big Love. Yes. Now, Gigi, I'm going to start off with you All because right. you have a very interesting group, but I was trying to, to figure out, and maybe you can explain to our audience, what type of music do you perform? What type of genre are you associated with? You know, the genres are hard to pigeonhole. Our sound is very much a collective of our influences, the things that we love. And those influences are all over the map, from jazz to world to pop to country to, you know, you name it, rock, soul. So we just kind of, we're a little bit of a, a melting pot or a merging place. <laughs> so, <clears throat> so Eric, you, you are the, the lead songwriter of the group. And my question to you is kind of twofold because uh, you all are a collaboration of yourselves because the two yes. of you are married. But tell me, how did you come up with the group's name and how did two of you met? Well, uh, we were looking for a band name because we didn't want to live under the Gigi Dover band sort of thing. Uh, and we were looking to kind of involve everybody who is in the picture, you know, a collective force, if you would. And so we went with Big Love because that's what we had for all the people involved. But of course, my last name's Lovell, so I Sorry. always get associated as the Big Love, and that's a <clears throat> title I'll wear proudly. That's, that's fine with me. <laughs> that, that's kind of how it worked out. And of course, <laughs> uh, you all have just released a, a, a new project, yes. and it is very <clears throat> unique in itself, especially compared to some of the other projects that you've done in the past. Right. What makes it different? Well, we try to move forward each time. We try to write different songs. Um, I write most of the lyrics. Eric writes most of the music. It's a collaborative it, thing. We though. put it all together. We work sitting on our front porch a lot of times and just whatever idea comes to us that's where we'll try to take it. Right. Our collaborative mm -hmm. effort is that she, like she said I'll do a lot of the music she'll do a lot of the lyrics but then mm -hmm. when I need help with something she'll come in and pull it and then Likewise. when she needs. So we, it's a reciprocal thing you know we we try to work mm -hmm. together as a collective as much as possible on that. Well, you've been talking about the collective, but Gigi, you've mm -hmm. actually gone global. Um, you have a very special project that's going on, which yes. involves mm -hmm. these, these paintings, these beautiful paintings right. behind us. Tell us about that project and how did it get started? Uh, the project, uh, this painting here was featured on a t-shirt and it's a website out of Amsterdam called Sequoia Tees. It's a guy who sponsors artists from around the world, one a day, limited number of printings of t-shirts, and uh, it's just re really cool. Um, I started with the owl actually last year. Two years ago, I painted a little tiny owl that Eric described as a rogue member of the Partridge Family Collection. And from there, I thought, you know, I'll carry on with these owls. And so I began to do some research on different owls from the east, north, south, east, and west around the globe, a global event for myself. And then this one in particular in the East, I read an article about an owl trade and the illegal owl trade that was going on. And that really inspired me to go further into it and actually carry on with these owls. And I have two more coming after that, North and South. So. And of course, I want to just go back a little bit to, to you and, and your singing because it seems like uh, you do a variety of things. You hear a little jazz, you hear, you hear a little R&B, you hear a little reggae. Who are some of the people um, who were, say, some of your mentors? Oh, wow. Again, that's a collage that's endless. You know, I, I, I grew up listening to AM radio. Stevie Wonder, <laughs> right? Um, WBT, if I can even mention that, I don't know if I can, but Stevie Wonder to, um, Linda Ronstadt, that's the early things listening to. And then from there it became a little deeper into Patsy Cline and Emmylou Harris. And then I branch over into Etta James. I have my mom giving me 
Barbara Streisand music. I had my dad giving me Willie Nelson. I had my brother mm -hmm. giving me, you know, Rick cool James. In the gang. Right, you know, so it just comes from everywhere. And then my sister listened to Led Zeppelin and the Beatles. So my influences really come from all around, and that's where I guess that's how it comes out. And Eric, now that you have this new project out, and I know that you guys are, are constantly working on things, but what's the next step for you all? Well, the, the plan is to support this record, put it out on the road. We're hoping to get a European tour rolling in the fall, um, again, to help support the art as well as our CDs. And then just like a shark, if you stop swimming, you're done. So we, we're touring and working on the next record, writing new material and starting to demo stuff. And, you know, it, it never stops, really. That's the key. And, and one other question, if folks want to find out more about your music and perhaps some of your venues, where can they go? Uh, ggdover.com, G-I-G-I-D-O-V-E-R.com. And my final question to both of you, because, of course, you have a lot of people wanting to get into music, and they say, okay, yes, I want to be a singer, I want to be a writer, I want to make a lot of money, but... What advice would you give to someone who wants to get into the music profession? I'll start off with you, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd say if you want to make a lot of money, this is not the profession for you. If you do it because you love it and it's what you're driven to do, it's your passion, then go for it. Don't let anybody tell you not to. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't because you can do it if you believe that you can do it. You've got to work hard, practice, and never stop. GG. Never stop. That's what I would say. That's that's my motto. Just don't give up. Just keep doing it, and do it because you love it. Yeah, you have to. Just like these, you know. Just keep doing what you do. Absolutely, Gigi Dover. You are the lead vocalist as well as Eric Lovell. You are the songwriter, lead guitarist. Gigi Dover and the Big Love. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for your performance, and Thank continued you, success Thank to you. the both of you. Thank you, Thank very, you very much. much. And as Mitch mentioned, Gigi and Eric brought the band with them to play us a song off their new album, The Robin is High and the Mustache is Long. <laughs> Skipping my step, skipping my step, skipping my step. Oh, I like my new pants, I like my new pants, I like my new pants. Far from ordinary is the day. Every moment coming your way. The sun's coming now, the sun's coming now, the sun's coming out. You're holding my hand, I'm holding your hand, I like holding hands. Look up to the sky, up to the sky, way up high. Oh, the sun's coming now, the sun's coming now, the sun's coming out. The 
sun's coming now, the sun's coming now, the sun's coming now. I like my new pants, I like my new pants, I like my new pants. Love is my song, simple and strong, love is my song. The sun's coming now, the sun's coming now, the sun's coming now. Every moment coming your 